data. Complete. It looks like you've got what it takes to be our next senior executive. Please proceed to the Human Resources Office to collect your official Hornwright Executive ID. Senior Executive Detective. ID card issued. Greetings, Senior Executive. Are you having a nice day? User detected. Connecting. User. Connection. Detected. Mother number 003 reporting. User. System 003 requests. Assistance. Fuel levels. Critical. Hull. Critical. This mother load requires repair beacon. User, 
Recover. Repair beacon. User. Recover. Repair. <laughs> at minimum Requisition code accepted. Issuing repair beacon. Beacon deployment clearance granted. User, proceed. Down. Deploy. Beacon. Proceed. Elevator.
User detected. Connecting. Connection established. Debug process initiated. Attempting to make contact with primary transponder signal. Primary transponder signal not found. Senior Executive Daniel Hornwright not found. Failsafe procedure initiated. Searching registered location logs for recent signal detection. Recent signal detected at Hornwright Estate Safe Room. Proceed to the location to complete failsafe procedure. Hornwright Estate and Safe Room access cards are required for entrance. Motherload follows. You! Us!
Invalid credentials. Access denied. Area clearance detected. Initiating breach procedure. All workers, please evacuate to safe distance immediately. What now? The safe room is a lot less safe than I expected. Breach procedure? Breach complete. Now, wait, wait, wait just a minute. You can't just barge in here, robot. Mother load. Mother load? Oh. <sighs> Of course. Oh, I see. This must be some sort of failsafe directive now that I'm back in this area. How fascinating. Wait, how is it that you can speak now? You didn't say anything when I came across you earlier out in the wild. You know, you're quite terrifying. Default audio device safe room loudspeaker is active and hardwired connection has been established. Of course. You mustn't have a built-in device. I guess Daniel decided you didn't need a voice unless you were speaking to him. Typical. Senior Executive Daniel Hornwright is not detected. Please provide a location for discovery and retrieval. No. Father, uh, Daniel, has been gone for a long time. Confirmed. Failsafe handoff must initiate. Dr. Penelope Horright, do you acknowledge and accept? Well, you're one hell of a stray dog, but yes, I'll accept. Fail safe procedures complete. Debug mode is now enabled. Doctor, please evaluate all secondary user changes before submitting.
Well, that was exciting, to say the least. So, secondary user, eh? Who the hell are you? And what kind of changes is she talking about? Didn't you hear her say my name? I'm Penny Hornwright. This used to be my home a long, long time ago. Maybe you should introduce yourself now, hmm? Oh, really? What exactly do you need the Motherlode's help with? And as an aside, robots don't have friends and don't need to be convinced to do things. If you want them to do something, you need to reprogram them. Is that all? I assume from that Pip-Boy on your wrist that you're from one yourself. Feeling homesick? I don't understand. What do they want with a vault? I saw Foundation on my way back into Appalachia. They look pretty comfortable there. No, I just saw it from a distance. I never want to assume that I'll be welcome. Good way to get shot at. Trust me. There are plenty of government facilities in Appalachia. More if you head north. What's so special about this one? More than anything, you have no idea how long I've been alone out here. <sighs> so tell me, how do we do this? Hmm, well, I'll need a pit boy for a mobile terminal. Not yours, don't worry. I'll need a full construction kit so I can add some extra circuitry. Also, I'll need something I consulted on years ago. A circuitry schematic that could have changed everything, if we hadn't blown ourselves up. I'll install an untethered communication setup while you're gone. That way, we can talk to her, whenever and wherever we want. Like any other bot.
okay. Let's try your integrated voice module again. Can you say something, Mother Lode? What would you like me to say, Doctor? Great. Thanks. Great. Thanks. Ah, <sighs> good gracious. She's full of dad jokes. All right, I'll add full conversational protocols to the list. Ah, you're back. I've been busy working on the Motherlode's voice interface. Have those parts for me yet? Lovely. I had a chance to crack her open while you were gone. It's not good news, I'm afraid. Well, it shouldn't take long at all to get the new guidance interface set up. However, while I was in there setting up her vocal system, I saw a lot of damage. I think she's going to need some new parts, just to be safe. Well, her data processing is extremely slow. Maybe it's not actually broken, but it certainly doesn't work. She'll need a better interpolator. She also needs a new sensor module, an altimeter for sure. Something's corroded the contacts pretty badly on both of those. Salvaging. Ibots are basically just flying sensor modules, and the altimeter could be salvaged from that ridiculous plane father hung upstairs. I'm not sure about finding an interpolator, but I saw a robot that had a human brain attached to it near Robco. I would bet that unethical monstrosity has some serious interpolation needs. Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, clever. It never would have occurred to me to dissolve the corrosion with a common household cleaner. It'll probably work for the altimeter, but Motherlode's sensor module is just too far gone. It still needs a replacement. Ah, oh, you know what? There is an iBot upstairs that I was tinkering on. Must have been some thirty years ago now. Maybe it's still there. That's a bit on the nose, but so is Ghoul and Rad Roach. So, whatever works. I simply can't imagine what kind of terrible person would do that to someone else. All the ones I ran into out there were completely homicidal. Hmm, all right. I'll be here working on her conversational skills if you need anything else. False alarm, standing down. Scanner's clear.
Intruder, identify yourself. Threat analysis, yellow. Potential perimeter breach. Beginning sweep.
Thanks. I'll take those parts, if you don't mind. Next? No. She'll be ready once I finish putting those parts in. Near as I can get her on short notice, anyway. It's where I was originally heading before the motherload started emerging. It was almost like she was herding me here. I was worried she'd spook the settlers there if she popped up. Or spook them more than I might on my own. Other folks have chased me off before. I could say that doesn't bother me, but it eats you away inside to lose all contact with others. It's where I... I was worried she'd spook the... Other folks have chased... Mm -hmm, I'll head there, presently. Just need to grab a thing or two before I leave. Go over the debug stack from the pot. So don't worry about checking back in right away. I'm fairly hopeful she won't have exploded. <laughs> mm, reasonably sure she won't. Please, I'll wear a gas mask and head straight to whomever's in charge. Let them know that you're to blame for my presence. Ta. I'm sure Motherload's going to have some issues for me to polish before your mission, but nothing I can't manage. Evening. I'm tired. Go see Sonny if you're looking You've for You've secured our way down to the vault pretty handily, haven't you? <laughs> I just can't believe your luck in finding Dr. Hornwright. She's getting some equipment brought down, I think. Better run, unless you want to find yourself carrying consoles around. Oh, but before you get going, though, let's talk business. All right. I've been working on the next problem we need to solve for busting into Vault 79, that doozy of a laser grid. I figure we've got some experienced scavengers in Foundation already, folks who know a thing or two about busting bunkers. Small ones, anyway. Thing is, before I even start asking around, Foundation our youngest scavenger pops up to tell me she's got it handled. Handled! Before I even told her the problem. Oh, right. Sorry. I've been focusing on the problem too long. Tunnel vision. Let's see. Uh, basically, the problem is that there's really serious laser grids. The kind you can't just cut the power to disable. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. 
If they lose power for even a fraction of a second, they'll lock the whole thing down for hours. I know Days, you. maybe. <laughs> I've heard some amazing stories about you. You're a legend around here. Honestly, maybe she's tougher than she seems. She's been with us for a while, so I can vouch for her loyalty at least. Yeah, she said she has a way to beat the grid, yeah, so I'm inclined to believe her. Anyway, her name is Jen. Go talk to her, and I'll get back to work on figuring out a plan for these military-grade turrets. Seems like as soon as we...